Hey everyone, welcome to your weekly energy update and happy holidays as we have Christmas happening and also New Year's Eve and New Year's Day all within the same energy of this week that we're looking at. And on top of all that, on December 29th, Mercury is going into retrograde. So we've been enjoying its pre-shadow as it builds up, but now the retrograde will be in full force. So it's not time to start new things. Consider it like the tide is coming in. If you try to launch anything, it'll capsize or it's going to take a lot, a lot, a lot of work for very little profit from it. <laughs> so this is a time to reflect and to revise and uh, just anything that has to do with the past coming forward. You might have people show up in your life that uh, have been missing. <laughs> uh, and, you know, it could be the revisiting of old memories and stuff coming in as well. So for this reading, we're going to be looking at, because Mercury is about communication too, we're going to ask what self-talk and communication around our worth, our life purpose, our career, uh, what could be helpful to revisit during this time. So that's the energy we're going to be working with. We are, of course, going to have a reading for each individual zodiac sign. And we're going to jump into yours right now. All right, Capricorn, this is your weekly energy update. And any of the cards I'm using in this reading, I do list in the description box of the video down below. So if any of them catch your eye and you do want them for yourself, you know where you can pick those up. We are going to start off here with the spirit of the animals oracle. And we'll see where it might be helpful to revisit regarding self-talk, communication, Around your worth, your life purpose, your career. All right, there we go. So for Capricorn, what would you like them to know, please? All right, they do want this one right here. And you have the Lynx, Keeper of Secrets. All right. It says, take time out from the world and be the observer. Nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. You see others' secrets and keep them sacred. And in silence and solitude, you find your strength. All right. So definitely a message of looking inward. Let's take a look here. Let's see what else the lynx brings for you. So lynx are solitary animals that live in the mountains or in the harsh climate of the cold north. They spend much of their life alone, out of sight, and in the shadows. Lynx is the ultimate introvert. And this trait is sometimes misinterpreted as aloofness, shyness, or arrogance, but this is not the case. Lynx people are observers and listeners and prefer the independent life. Those who walk with Lynx will have the uncanny ability to see what others cannot. This includes others' agendas, their fears, hopes, and plans. Lynx have long tufts of fur rising from the tips of their ears that act as antennae so lynx can hear the unspoken word. How perfect for self-talk and communication. <laughs> if lynx is your totem, you will be difficult to deceive because you are telepathic. You naturally live the life of a mystic. You cannot fulfill your role as a spirit messenger if your mind is cluttered with the noise of a too busy life. Alone time is essential and secrecy is your medicine. Patience and silence are your friends. As a lynx person, you will find contentment and happiness in reflection and contemplation. Spirit is always by your side. Wow, I love that. And then these give four areas that you can reflect upon if they resonate. The first one, are you irritated because you have not had enough alone time? Two, don't tell secrets that you should not. Keep the cat in the bag. <laughs> and number three, cat got your tongue? That's okay. Remember that silence is your friend. 
And number four, regain balance in solitude. So definitely, this is <laughs> undoubtedly turning you inward, uh, having you take alone time, really reflect upon it, and you have an uncanny ability to really understand your self-talk, your communication, I mean, your little antennae ears, you pick up on so much, it's, it's uh, important for you to step away from all the noise of everyone else because you definitely pick up people's thoughts and energies and emotional energies. And so it is a time definitely here this week to make sure you have your alone time. And then we also will pull from the Aboriginal Spirit Oracle. Let's see what else they'd like you to know. All right. So what else for Capricorn? <clears throat> Excuse me, and I feel like they are saying here a big piece of your just your understanding around your worth and your life purpose and career is the picking up everyone else's opinions, everyone else's talk, that it's important to whittle those away so that you can really get to the foundation of what you want. I feel like that's coming in there. Yeah. And then you have the turmoil card here. We'll put that over here. And let's see what message comes in this here for you. And I just open this up to stillness, so there, there's that stillness coming in here. So turmoil, don't fear turmoil. We find our strength and courage amongst the challenges that turmoil creates in our lives. As we work through the turmoil and take control of the situation, we begin to see another side to things that may not have been evident prior to now. Turmoil provides us the opportunity to start something again or completely change direction. And it is this opportunity for change that is the real wisdom of this experience. Don't lose sight that within turmoil is the growth of oneself to reevaluate, to rise above the challenge and to create something better than before. This card brings a, a message of either an unexpected event has just occurred or is about to. And this is one of those moments in time when you will need to seriously reevaluate your situation. And the turmoil that occurs is only short term, so don't fear what is happening because the universe only gives us experiences we can cope with. Whilst the initial event will come as a shock to you, the final outcome will have a wonderful ending. It's like the bushfire that burns the trees, yet underneath the burnt leaves and bark, the sap continues to flow. The tree begins to renew its growth and stand stronger and greener than it ever was before the fire. See this situation as a positive event in your life, and you will be stronger and more courageous than ever before. Yeah, and, and I love this about that you are never alone. Spirit is always with you, and regardless of what we go through, whatever tower type of moments come in where things are moved out of our life, they're moved out of our life for us. They, things don't happen to us, so we can change our perception of why is this happening to me to go why would I want this to happen for me and our little antenna allows us to really see beyond things see beyond everyone's opinion and supposed to and shoulds that allows us to see this thing more clearly and we'll also pull here from the return of spirit deck here let me just put the pages back in I obviously use this book a lot because it is falling apart there we go <laughs> I need to glue that back. All right. So we have the Return of Spirit deck here. And I call these the Spiritual Ink Blot Test because it's fractal imaging. So whatever uh, you see within the picture is a special message from Spirit for you. And then, of course, I will read from the well read book. <laughs> so let's take a look here. What else for Capricorn, please? What else for Capricorn? What else for Cap? Okay. It's actually going to be this one right here. 
It is card. Um, oh, these don't have card numbers, but I'm gonna. <laughs> so let you see this without the explanation on the bottom. Okay, and then it is called Fearless, <laughs> which this was just calling about here, and kind of the same colors too with the purples, the deep, deep purples in there. So let's see what message comes in here with Fearless. So fear is natural, normal, and healthy. It's part of the human survival mechanism. But sometimes fear can take us over in an unhealthy way and stop us dead in our tracks. Dear soul, you received this card today because the energetic imprint of fear is blocking your necessary progress forward in your life. The fact that you are experiencing fear right now is a sign that you're about to take a very important step forward on your path. It can also indicate that your path is being blocked from the negative, fearful energy that you hold. So this card brings the soft, loving energy of spirit <laughs> to give you the emotional support you need. It is strengthening your heart center to help you overcome the limiting fear-based thoughts which are holding you back. Too much of your time has been thinking about the things you think or feel you need to do in your life. It is now time to begin taking action one baby step at a time. Where there is fear, there is often a lack of faith. It's time to put your trust in the hands of spirit. There is a reason you're feeling called to take action, and there is also a reason why you are experiencing the blockage of fear as well. Quite often, the one thing we fear to do is the very thing which will lead us to our own empowerment. Fear is the factor which we must all overcome in order to step into our power. Breathe as you relax your body and release your mind. Trust yourself. Trust in the divine. Begin taking the necessary steps forward despite your fear. And remember, fear is a feeling, not a reality. You cannot remain small any longer. Your heart is calling you onward. Be brave. Be fearless. Just go for it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So definitely all of these cards are all intermeshed because these two do talk about fears, what is holding you back, what is keeping you from moving forward. And so for your worth, your life, purpose, your career, the self-talk that we've been having before, the supposed to, the should, the need to, the have to, the must, those things that are telling you, you have to do these things. And there's all this pressure and this fear really getting alone, taking this time to really connect, find out what is your heart's desire, not all that mind, all that self-talk. That's where a lot of the fear comes in, is the fear of losing conditional love and the fear of letting people down, the fear of losing support of people or getting punished by people with their words and actions when we don't do what everyone is telling us to do, right? So this is really getting to the bottom of what are you afraid to move forward and are you afraid to move forward because it's healthy your your um, spirit is like no we don't want you to go that way because that's just trying to live up to other people's expectations of you and that's why you're like you're hesitant and you're like i don't feel like i'm supposed to go down that way you feel like you're supposed to be going a different way that's more in alignment with your heart so i do like this we're also going to pull of course cards here from the good tarot let's find out what else spirit has for you capricorn all right so what else for cappies what else for Capricorn? Okay, I do want that one right there. What else? Okay. Okay, so they want one, two, boom, and boom. All right. <laughs> we'll start with this one over here, and you've got the Eight of Earth. Yes, so Eight of Earth is doing the work. You are ready for movement into a different area of your life because the eight of pentacles is like the apprentice who does the work um, learns the skill 
and then is ready to move forward. They're ready to move in directions that are um, in alignment with what they really are seeking after. You know, you're ready to become a master of your skill, of your heart's desire. And this is the movement of that. And if you feel like you are investing energy um, in the wrong direction of that's not of your heart's desire this is a change this is an opportunity to focus your skill learn what you want to learn this is also a card of education and and learning about things so if you have been having this heart's desire for so long in your life but you were afraid to make a jump into learning it and to pursuing it this is a card definitely telling you if you do the work you become the master and you do move up in your world in in a variety of ways so i like that and you have the seven of fire the seven of wands which is do not be afraid to live your dreams you can step up on the the top of the hill you can pursue what you want and usually there's like swords um not swords uh wands at the bottom of people that are feeling they're below you going why do you feel like you can live your dream and we can't blah 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 and it's because they feel lower than you and so they are attacking you to bring you down back to where they're at you know how dare you live your dreams and be happy get back down here and be miserable and be workhorses like the rest of us but this is like no live your dream and be that example be a bright shining light where everyone else can see oh wow i can pursue my dream too and you can i know when i was leaving corporate life to pursue my dreams i this is like the second time i've done it <laughs> one time was like a decade ago and when i was leaving um i was like in a it manager type of position which um was an interesting adventure in its own because I did not have IT background. That's a long story. We won't go into that, though, because when I was leaving, I was leaving a very well-paying job and everyone was like, what are you doing? How can you do that? How can you leave all this behind to go pursue something else? You know, how could you leave that money? And I was, you know, I told them it's living your dream. I feel like I'm existing. and I'm not living. And they would say, I don't feel like I can do that. And I'm like, or they, they said, I don't, I couldn't do that. And I go, well, you could. And it made them pause and think, and he go, you know, I could. It's just, I don't want to give up all my possessions and my life the way I'm living it. I like all my stuff. I like everything I get and I don't want to trade it in. And that's what happens. When you stand up and show yourself living your dream, it does encourage others because even in that moment, those people were like, well, I, don't, I can't do it right now. Later in life, when they get to a point where not living their dream feels ugly and outweighs their fears, that's when they're ready to make movement, right? And then you have the Ace of Fire, yep. So this is new passion, new drive living the dream so you are definitely looking to see and getting this ignition of living towards your dream here and like i was just saying when your desire to live your dream outweighs your fears when an ugly feeling of not living your dreams outweighs your fears that's when we take action when our fears are um, blocking us it, it's because that they uh, are appear bigger than our desire to live our dream. But eventually it grows so much. The pressure, the fire, this energy builds up so much inside of us. It just blows up. And we're just like, I just can't live this anymore. That's why people have a midlife crises and different things. Because they realize that the path that they are on, the things they were doing was not... For them, it was trying to meet up to all these supposed to's and shoulds and need to's in their lives. So I like this. You are definitely catching on fire and ready to move forward. And you have the queen of water. So you definitely are here. This reminds me a lot of the high priestess um, who steps back into her temple and pursues the deeper things, right? 
taking this alone time like the lynx because the queen of water not only rules over water which is emotions but she, all the queens are given an, an extra portion of water so she's double portion water which allows her to dive deep into her emotions trusting her intuition her inner voice so definitely this indication here of having a high highly tuned uh, awareness of your intuition and um, you know again feeling people's emotions uh, communicating with spirit really helps here it helps guide you and then you have okay and then you have the queen of fire so a lot of fire like i was saying she not only rolls over fire but like i said she has water which allows her a beautiful beautiful connection to spirit as well and she communicates with spirit on where she wants to head, what she wants to do in her life, where she's going to go. And the, it allows this confidence. People are like, how can you just do that? How can you just, you know, make a decision and go for it? Well, it's not, you know, as it appears, because when we reach this point where we have to go left or right, she dials up spirit, right? All of this is about dialing up spirit and said, so, okay, which is for my highest good, left or right? And they're like, right. And so she just has this trust, like it talked about trust and this beautiful um, relationship with spirit that she just trusts them. She knows the voice, she hears the whisper, she gets quiet. And she just goes to the right and then it w turns out wonderful and people are like how do you do that and it's because you've taken the time to develop your relationship with spirit to where you clearly hear it and and move in those directions so i do like this for you so you know the self-talk the communication it's really stepping away from the self-talk uh, the human self-talk the other humans voices in your head and really developing this deep deep communication with spirit stepping away from all the noise from all the chaos and you know turning down the fear noise and turning up the spiritual connection by raising your vibration to that of unconditional love and joy and peace and laughter and gratitude that's the frequency at which spirit communicates fear noisy enter inner voice quiet <laughs> and clarity right so i love where you're going to head with this because i really feel like this is you're coming to this point and it's kind of like this year in review as you come to the end of the year too that you're like what am i doing with my life what do i really want to do here it's been another year when am i going to make the choice to go live my dream instead of existing and i love it so um, if you are looking for more messages of love from above in addition to these videos i also put out um you know, monthly readings for each individual zodiac sign, pick a card readings, and a few other types of videos throughout the month. And if you don't want to miss out on any of these, get updated immediately when they become available. If you give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button, and then by clicking the subscribe button, you're given access to the notification bell. When you go in there, there is an option for all. If you select it, two things happen. One, you'll get notified immediately of new videos that come out. But two, you also get notified when I go live on YouTube to provide free readings. I know. <laughs> and in addition to all that, it also helps spread the Zen love and it helps my channel grow in significant ways because when you like or share um, one of the videos comment on one of my videos subscribe to my channel doing those things makes the youtube algorithm super happy and it wants to automatically share the videos of my channel with other people as well so if you feel inspired to do any of those things i mentioned please know i am very very grateful and these are general readings. If you're looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, I do offer personal readings and all that information is listed down in the description box of the video down below. All right, beautiful Capricorn, as you are going through this amazing journey, please know that every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the mother and father of all things. And of course, I love you too. So have an amazing week. We'll be talking soon. But in the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.